Patients often ask what happens if a silicone implant is ruptured. So in the past this was a bigger problem because the older implants had shells that were quite a bit thinner and tended to rupture more frequently. Also the gel inside tended to be much more liquid and viscous and would leak out much more readily if there was a shell rupture. With the newer generation of silicone implants, there have been several steps taken to avoid this problem. As an example, the shell now is quite a bit thicker and tends to rupture much less frequently. Also, and most importantly, the gel inside is now more cohesive, meaning it sticks together much more strongly. And even if there is a rupture of the shell, very infrequently will leak out because the gel all stays within the implant capsule. So what I'm going to do today is actually make an incision in the implant to show you what will happen to the gel when the shell is violated. So we're going to make a small nick in the implant to show what happens with a little rupture. So with that, you see that you can let go. The implant, when it's squeezed, the silicone bulges out, but in its native state, stays nice and contained within the implant. We're going to cut out a little wedge from the implant to show that the silicone, when it's left alone, will stay cohesive and nice and tight within the implant. So this little piece of implant was cut out, pulls right out, it stays within the shell, and no silicone leaks or pours out of the implant. This is a very highly cohesive gel, even for a standard, modern, fourth generation silicone implant.